Okay, I thought I'd show you my craft space. Okay, so we're gonna give you a big overview of this area first. Where I do my polymer clay stuff at and the jewelry portion of it, okay. So in here, I have my beads. Some of the clay things I've finished already. Some of the charms, clasps, jump rings. That's what this area carries. And then I got this little jewelry tower to put some of the things I've made on it. These are finished up here. These I still have to put clasp on. And then I got this little space over here to put my clay, what I've got so far. And then beads I've made. Back here in this corner, I've got a little thing that's got all my tools in it. And here I've got paints and chalks and things for resin and pigments and eyeshadows that I use for colors. And then of course, over here also I've got resin and more resin and pouring mediums and gesso and Mod Podge and more Mod Podge and UV resin, a couple of bottles of that. And this is fusible fabric fusion, my paint brushes, screen, um, stencils and screen prints, silk screens. And then up here, all the pieces of jewelry that's on my Etsy shop already and some more little gadgets I keep up there. Stencils are up there on top. This is bags of beads and um, things I'm like little water bottles and tins and those kind of things. Here I've got my extruder I was using. Some more clay out on the desk that I'm using. And I got my bakeable bondage stuff and all of that. My drill needs to go back in its space. Obviously, it's not a clean desk <laughs> by any means. Got some cutters in here. Some more clay I was using. Over here in this box is some um, glass capuchons. Painted already. I got more paint over there in that section. Here I've got some molds. Back here I've got some of um, those diamond painting thingies to do. And I've got um, rubber stamps in this bag and clear stamps and texture plates some more googly eyes and stuff back there I put another lot here that thing right there is to hold uh, ink pads but I hardly ever use it <laughs> and then when you turn around over here I've got my uh, candles that I've been making and some cups for that and then, you know, some extra, this thing here has stuff for the same thing. And then if you look up here, <laughs> got some wicks and stuff in here. I've got my paper in the paper slot over there, if I need any. <laughs> All of this stuff is stuff I've listed on eBay. All the way back to the back, more eBay stuff. Over here, I have where I roll out my clay on the clay machine and where I bring it out to, you know, let it cool and whatnot. Have a toaster oven there. Stop using it when it started burning everything. You learn as you go, right? I've got books there, movies there. <laughs> Crafting books. That big thing right there is clay slip for when I get my ceramic ceramic mold stuff start going. 
over here there's coloring books and more um, arts and crafts stuff arts and crafts stuff <laughs> that over there has well here's more paint and then over here I have die cuts and rubber stamps and other miscellaneous art supplies there is a uh, chipboard and um, gee, fabric and all kinds of stuff in that and up here ouch there's plastic bottles to do stuff with and basically over here that's my die cut machine this is paper crafting over here at its finest <laughs> and then I've got cards. I still have the list on eBay. Um, more stuff to list on eBay. More crafting supplies. Books. Games. Movies. Oh, file cabinet. Yay. More stuff to list. That's my vampire and supernatural section over there. And of course my grandbabies are over here as well. Let's see, there's top shelf. And then of course these are all my books. I've got lots of books, lots of books. And now I have stuff in the oven. This is my little crafty space for now. I have a kiln in the uh, back closet for when we get a plug. Oh yeah, forgot to mention this thing. Then I have my UV lamp right there. I have a kiln in the back closet for when I get my ceramic studio up and going. Uh, I have 7,500 molds sitting in storage in Greenland. A little of this and a little of that. I kind of like to do it all. I'm a do it all person. <laughs> but anyway, this is just my space is what I have. I was kind of doing everything on the kitchen table. I went out and bought this little table at Walmart for $36. That's what I had. And then I found this big old table in the dumpster at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. So I snagged it. So oh, yep, this is my crafting area. Light ain't so great, but the fan works, yay. <laughs> anyway, this is what I have so far. <clears throat> Need more containers, lots more containers. But we plan on moving this summer, so I don't want to put up way too much stuff or at least we're gonna try to move this summer I'd like to have a she room so I could just hide out and do my own stuff in it a little studio for just me but I would like to have it to where I could have my ceramics on one end of it my polymer clay on the other and just do it all have something to pass down to my my children and my grandchildren oh and this is a um, I was using a glass up here, and you can do that, but these are placemats I got at Dollar Tree, and they work just fine with rolling out my stuff, my clay. Anyway, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it. If you haven't subscribed to Lena's Pretty Things, please do. And eventually, my little camera that I ordered, or my camera tripod, will come in the mail. And I'll be able to do some um, videos on the things I'm making and how to make them. And just please remember, too, I'm learning as you're learning. I watch most of my stuff on YouTube to get an idea of how to do it. I'm in a lot of the Facebook groups of polymer clay. And I watch and I learn. That's all you can do is watch and learn, right? The more you do, the more you learn how to do. Anybody. Anyway, everybody take care. Love you. Keep smiling. Bye.